Hey everybody, this is Jim at uh, freechartvideos.com using time modern techniques to understand modern markets. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only and it is not intended to be uh, any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you and only you can draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional, I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So let's look at the S&P. Okay, do you recognize this pattern? Um, let's draw a line right there. What does that look like? Boom, boom, boom. Let's make this uh, purple. This looks like a, an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And interestingly enough, it is an inverse head and shoulders pattern that is coming on the heels of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And it's underneath this neckline. So what, is, what does this mean? Well, what it looks like is that this is just kind of a, uh, an interesting uh, kind of a call it a hybrid or something like that. I mean, this pattern right here says we should get up to over 1400, roughly 1425 to 1430. We started the trek, then we then we uh, came back for a pullback. The pullback bounced on the line that, believe it or not, hits this inverse head and shoulders head hits the inverse head and shoulders head that formed in the uh, fall of um, 2010 and also hits the head of an inverse head and shoulders pattern that marked the bottom of the bear market and the beginning of the bull market. That is just, I'm sorry, I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep my language in order here, but that is just too freaking strange. I mean, you, you know, I, Admittedly, this pattern has not broken out yet, okay? This one has, this one hasn't. But uh, all of this, all of these inverse head and shoulders patterns that we keep seeing develop, um, just, I don't know. I, yeah, I think the bulls ought to take this as a sign. I really do. Now, they, some might be saying, yeah, well, this is kind of rolling over here. Well, I guess that's an interpretation, too, because you do have this uh, this uh, apparent sort of a head and shoulders-ish look right here. Uh, there are a couple reasons to, to say that's not a shoulder, uh, the, the most notable of which is, um, is the fact that this is higher than that. But, uh, I, you know, that's neither here nor there. The fact is you get lots of... Um, uh, you get lots of little peaks and valleys, and sometimes they look like uh, like head and shoulders. Sometimes they look like inverse head and shoulders. They don't all play out. But, um, for example, here this head uh, right here formed after the, the left shoulder, which itself looks kind of like a standard head and shoulders pattern, okay, so it, it, it really is. I, I guess to some degree you could say uh, it's something of an ink blot test sometimes. And the bulls will see uh, positive forms in the ink blot. And the bears will see negative forms in the ink blot. But I think you've got to look at the underlying trend. And I don't think there's any question that the underlying trend has been up. However, you can see that the market is beginning to move in smaller increments. Um, it's starting to just kind of, what's a good way to put this? It's not making as a, nearly as aggressive a move as it had been making. By the way, here's that line I was telling you about. Head, 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 head. Um, and, you know, it could break down, but this line is extremely important. I think at this point, this is a line that is, is just profoundly important. So if this, and let me move it back here, if this were to break, then 
then I think uh, the, the markets are likely going to be headed for a fairly sizable uh, correction. And um, But right now, I mean, if you look at this, let me show you. We had this, um, this line right here that broke, back-tested, and that's very similar to what we've seen in other patterns. And then uh, this resistance line that, uh, that had been working for a while, uh, it broke out, and that's when we came back for this line right here. This is the neckline of the larger, uh, I say larger, it's actually a small pattern, but the, the, uh, the pattern that's, that's larger than this one. And additionally, it appears to me that uh, the market today, of the S&P at least, has started uh, forming a symmetrical triangle. Let's look at that in a little bit more detail. There you go. There's your symmetrical triangle. Ended at uh, resistance. It would not surprise me to see, uh, to see us go down and tag this line down here. Keep in mind that triangles are actually... Uh, Symmetrical triangles in particular don't really tell you what they're going to do until they've already done it. Uh, so this pattern is, is either going to uh, make a move that will uh, take the, uh, the S&P up just by this small pattern now. Just by this little tiny pattern. It has a target of, of roughly 13, oh what? 1354 something like that 13 low 1350s if however it breaks down then we're looking at a target uh, from this little pattern uh, of, of the uh, high 1320s as and these are minimums all right so we've got a couple things going on here we've got the fairly large uh, inverse head and shoulders that says 1420s uh, upper 1420s and then we've got the uh, this smaller one right here that if it breaks out says uh, a retest and probably uh, an eclipse of this high back here at 1370 and um, you know we've got this line right here which is still a line to watch okay this is the uh, 1370 high this was the the next high and then and now we've come up and we're we're knocking on this uh this neckline again and if we get over that and get over this then i would say uh the bulls look to be very much in charge um it's it's not over of course until it's it's over as they say it ain't over till the fat lady has sung you know what that's from don't you that's from opera because there's always the the, the fat lady in in the opera usually she's she's an alto and and uh, sometimes a soprano but usually the fat lady has a lower voice and uh, basically it's uh, the opera ain't over till that fat lady sings so if you're ever ever at an opera and you're wondering when the heck is this going to be over it ain't over till the fat lady sings so um, anyway that's what we got right here and if you look at this uh, in one way of of uh, of seeing this whole thing if you're so inclined let me put these little lines here this whole formation bounded by this and this if we break out over here when we look back in retrospect and possibly even uh, I mean, I guess we could we could look at it tentatively at this point. Let's put that in red. If we now go back to an hourly chart, all of this, um, in retrospect, becomes a bull flag. So we had a we had a, a bounce off this bottom of the head, a bull flag, and then a move up, then a bull flag. Um, so anyway, I mentioned a while back, too, that, that when we look at this inverse head and shoulders, that I was concerned that where, where's it going to get the room to get up to the, to, 14, you know, to the 1420s? Because we had this rising line right here, 
and I was thinking, gosh, you know, if we just break on up there, it's going to, this sucker, it just can't quite make it. Well, the further it goes out to the right here in consolidation, then the more room there is for, uh, for this market to run up. So right now, this is not at all a bad thing that we have formed, but we got to watch it, got to keep an eye on it. And now let me be fair and tell you what's the, uh, what's the bearish possibility. Well, if we take this bottom and this bottom, though I don't think this is going to happen, but if you, if you want to uh, be a little bit uh, paranoid about things, you might say that this is a back test on this. So there's always there's always a uh, um, a possibility here of uh, of alternate interpretations. But you know the fact that this line has has marked uh, a series of bottoms uh, tells me that uh, we're probably going to head up. You know, and again that's just probabilities. Additionally, when we look at these symmetrical triangles, which is kind of what we're looking at right here, albeit on a, on a three-minute chart, so it's not of major importance, um, these patterns tend to be continuation patterns uh, or consolidations, which is the same thing. They tend to, to do this about, oh, about two times out of three. So if you just look at this pattern right here in a stock and you say, is this going to go up or is it going to go down? Um, two times out of three, it, it will break out and continue the move that was in place before it formed. But this is the uh, S&P update for May 19th, 2011. I uh, just got in from my trip uh, to Nashville doing some photography for a, uh, for a Nashville uh, architectural firm. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I appreciate you, you taking the time out of your day to watch this. I hope these videos uh, do you some good and help you to understand maybe uh, some of the techniques in charting. Again, this is for educational purposes only. And uh, if you use this as any form of investment advice, um, realize you're taking the advice uh, well, it's not really being offered as advice, but you are interpreting what I say as advice from a rank, amateur, non-educated guy who just draws lines on charts. Take care. There'll be another video tomorrow.